Hello and welcome to Top Sniffs. I'm Matt and cheers for that click. Hope you're doing well. I've got one from Ofnon and it's Supremacy in Oud. Now, I got this for Christmas as it's based on Oud for Greatness, which I've got samples from and tried in Selfridges. So I thought this would be a good present to get. Given it a few wearings past couple of weeks and I thought I'd give you my thoughts on this off and on supremacy and nude and i'll tell you what i think now i've entitled this the good the bad and the ugly because i think it sums up this fragrance quite well and i'll go through the points first of all i think the good presentation is really nice nice little sort of plastic box looks good on the shelf the uh, inside is quite nice as well i think they've done a bit of work on this you've got a nice sort of inscription there the bottle itself interesting design so you know very unique very different i don't think they're going for like a straight clone on it but nice design on that and the uh, lid's quite heavy atomizer is pretty good as well so i think that is a fairly good side as well i'll run you the notes quickly we've got at the top saffron nutmeg and lavender in the mid you've got the oud but it's very sort of synthetic easy going comfortable, easy wearing type hood, and you've got the base patchouli and musk. So good points, packaging, the atomizer, I think the price point's pretty good. This was under 40 pounds for 100 mil compared to, you know, for greatness, you're talking maybe sort of 300. So a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper for this one. What I get though is a lot of sweetness straight from the top, sort of, sort of candy floss, sugary sweetness, um you do get a little bit more of the sort of saffron and nutmeg as it comes through but it's very light it's mostly the uh, sweetness that punches through on this fragrance the oud is there but it's light it's very easy wearing it's quite sort of artificial and synthetic not overly complex at all i do find this fragrance quite linear so you just have that sort of sweetness and a bit of the sort of saffron and nutmeg coming through the dry down with the sort of oud, it's like a dried wood almost. Uh, thinking antique furniture with a bit of varnish on top, but that's about it really. But no, always that sweetness. Very sweet, very sweet indeed. You've got a little bit of earthiness to it at the end and the sort of clean white musk, but mostly the sweet. So that's the good. The bad, how close it is to for greatness i don't think it's awfully that close it does remind me of it and it's definitely in that ballpark but it's not one-to-one -one, not by any means with that sweetness it's sort of overpowering i think and it's missing the sort of dark spice you get from mood from greatness and there's not many leather notes or tobacco at all that i can smell from this product the uh, supremacy and oud so that's what it's missing. What I do think it has is more of a connection with Baccarat Rouge 540. That sweetness, the candy floss notes to it. If you like Baccarat Rouge 540 and sweeter fragrances, this would be great. But for me, sweet fragrance don't really work. And on my skin, not at all. That's more of the, the ugly side. As I say, performance on this is really good. It is almost biblical. So I can put it on, uh, go out in the evenings, I can pick it up, get home, I can still smell it. Uh, get up the next day, it's still on my skin. Have a shower, I can still smell it after that. And it sticks to clothing like anything. So for me, it's too strong on that side. This is a sort of three to four maximum spray. I think when I first got it, I think I did about six sprays and after about an hour it gave me a headache. It was that strong. So maybe it's just my skin coming off with the uh, sugary sweetness. It was too much. But um, if you want a more of a casual fragrance, this would be great. Uh, definitely cool weather. So going out casually, that's the only time I'd wear it. What I will do though, is probably give it a few months just to settle down, sort of mature and macerate and see if it will smooth out. And then maybe hopefully that sweetness will slightly die down and more of the other notes will come through. But good, 
I would say the packaging performance is really good if you like that sort of strong, sweet performing fragrance and the atomizer, really fantastic. The bad I don't think is that close to um, Oud for Greatness and that sweetness for me is too much. So that's my take on this fragrance. Uh, it is an interesting one. Uh, I think I was a little bit disappointed to be honest. I thought it'd be a bit closer, but um, I think I'll give it a bit of time, come back to it and see how it performs after that. But anyway, that's my uh, take on the Offnon Supremacy and Oud. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Matt. This is Top Sniffs. Cheers.